Okay, Don back. Uh, at some point, my video quit. I, le I shouldn't have done it, left it unplugged, I guess. Uh, it was longer than I thought, I guess. So, yeah, that's what happens when one of the cameras plugged in. They, they, they will shut down the video because the battery's getting low. So, uh, I don't have it. To throw away these gloves it's dirty now so i think it's the motor from everything not because i did any tests that told me uh but from everything i watched online and really me just turning it on like that that's the I, I know that the uh timer switch is working right if you didn't know if it was working right then you i, I would buy you know probably you would have to bypass it like the videos uh, and I'm gonna, I've already made a blog post on all my research, so uh, this is on the Maytag, by the way. I'm talking about the Maytag A512, I think it is, washer, my mom's washer that I just, my video got cut short on. Anyway, I'll put uh, links in the video description to my blog post. DonSteels.blogspot.com is where it is. And, and if you just wanted to go look at that, you could look at, you know, Maytag. I named it Mom's Maytag washer, uh, and I think it's A512 model number. I put that in there, too. Anyway, uh, there's the insides of one. That's about all I showed. Getting the, getting the front off and everything. The ones that he was working on were newer. Both of them were newer. There's two or three models that were newer. And uh, But those guys, the, all the video links I are in are going to be in the blog post. And it was very good, very helpful. I mean, I've worked on this thing several times, but and the things that I've even learned, done in the past, even, but a lot of that's new to me. I never had a, I got a multimeter that can test capacitors, but there's no capacitor, so uh, that's new to me, testing capacitors and all that. <coughs> but uh, I think the motor's bad. That's what I'm going to say. Uh, transmission, all that. I think is okay because it spun once we got it going the other day it's yesterday it spun until it emptied the whole tub so i think the motor is where old wore too wore out to uh, you know pick up and go unless there's just you know so much uh wear in the uh, i can turn the tub though if there's so much you know wear maybe even rust in some of the bushings or something then but there's no noise no grinding nothing like that if there was that, you know, wear in that, or the transmission, of course that would make it not be able to turn it. And that was one of the first things I suspected. But if it's transmission and that that thing, I mean, I just saw one and I didn't keep looking, but four hundred and four dollars at the place that place that I usually go, uh, it's in my links, where I bought other parts. So that they're uh, pretty cool, like decent prices, and get it here, you know, within a few days and. Uh, you actually have a 365 day one year return policy like if you don't use it you can send it back and I've never sent anything back but you know if you bought something that turned out to be the wrong part now it might be different on uh, electrical parts of certain types you know usually that's that's a stipulation on a lot of things but uh, we've been I've, it's been five plus years that I've been buying stuff here and there but we got uh, Westinghouse evidently owns Maytag now you know and uh, so now when you find parts they'll be the newer they'll be called Westinghouse parts and when you're on this side or any any of those other appliance sites and the dryer I think it says Westinghouse on it somewhere yeah I think so I'm not I don't even remember but anyway uh, bought several parts read a whole like drum uh, bushing bearing I call it a bushing because it's not a roller bearing it's a it's a brass bushing or it's not yeah it's brass it's not copper Anyway, a whole kit, you know, to re redo the front of the door and the, the whole drum, you know, like a kit and bought, bought that. And anyway, and I've got, I do have an electrical part of a heater. Uh, he, I don't remember if it's a heater, heat lemon switch or something, something for the dryer I'm talking about that I never put on. And uh, it works okay, but it uh, doesn't seem to get as hot as it used to. But anyway, there's two, two switches in there. One that tells it how hot to get and one that tells it safety overheating switch and I can't remember which one I bought now but anyway I haven't ever put it on uh, 
But it's been over a year now since I bought it, so I would but I decided I want to keep it until I need it, you know. But I'm gonna get my tools and put them up, and uh, uh, that's it. I don't know where it quit on the video. I was hoping to show the fair, you know, details of getting those clips back in the top, but it probably quit before I got to the clips being back in the top of that front panel, but. Oh well, that's the way it goes. With. I have better luck with doing live streaming over the Wi-Fi, even though it gets audio and video gets out of sync. It usually doesn't quit on me, but the the video out and it quit on me. Sometimes it just quits. <laughs> so anyway, oh, bye.